What's up guys, this is Balash from Racing Brick. Today I want to talk about a topic that regularly comes up after Technic or Creator Expert reviews. So we will take a closer look at some cars from these two teams and how they can be compared to each other. These sets are by the way not supposed to be called Creator Expert anymore. They will have a new adult related team with all the 18 plus branding. But since they are still all in the Creator Expert category on LEGO.com, I will stick to this name. So let's see the basics. Traditionally, Technic sets use mostly Technic parts with beams, axles, gears and bigger panels. They have a pretty recognizable look, aiming most of the time for realism, but frequently with less details and accuracy due to the nature of the parts. Apparently, the focus is more on the functionality, to build something that has actually working parts, and the aesthetics come only after that. These sets have a certain amount of working functions, like a functional steering wheel, differential, and an engine with pistons, suspension, a gearbox, or other specific functions of the vehicle they represent. There's a recognizable tendency in the past years to include more and more non-technic, so-called system pieces to add details to these sets. Here are a few examples. You can see how the front section or the rear of the Ferrari has some system parts to add details, or the Land Rover Defender, or the Mack truck that had lots of details added this way. For comparison, here are some recent cars from the former Creator Expert product line. These sets are mostly built with system pieces, although there are usually some technic parts as well. The aim is definitely to have a maximum level of detail possible, but I see more and more functions included as well. If we take a look at the Porsche 911, it has functional steering and an opening frunk to store the targa roof. It can be also converted to the turbo version, might count as a function. The Acto 1 set, on the other hand, has so many brilliant working functions that I won't even start to list them here. If you are interested, I have a detailed review published about it. These sets also have very interesting and innovative part usage at several places, and thanks to the much wider range of system pieces, they can offer a potentially more diverse building experience. So, some recent new sets, actually these here, raised questions from the fans, as apparently Creator Expert cars seem to have more functions and definitely a better look than some Technic sets nowadays. We could say that the priority for Technic is functionality, and there are definitely sets created with this focus, but I'm not sure that's true anymore with some other sets like this Ferrari. It really only has some basic working functions and does not even have hand of god steering, so the playability is questionable. It is more like a display piece. But I think that as a display piece, it does not work as well as these cars here. So actually these sets made me thinking, why do we have this strict separation of themes? Why can't we have the best of both worlds, like a car with a Technic core and a full system body? Or do you think that Technic and system building style is so different that it has a completely separated fanbase and they want to stick to their own building material? I'm not sure. I consider myself a car fan and I enjoy building sets from both worlds. I would like to know what you think about it, so please let me know in the comments. Anyway, back to the cars. As I said, a vehicle with a fully Technic base and a system body would be very interesting, but could have new challenges as well. The number one is weight. Just take a look at this Ferrari. It is as long as the Ghostbusters car, and it's much wider, but the weight is only 1.3 kg. Compared to this, the Acto 1 is 2 kg, and it has 600 more pieces as well. I know it has lots of gadgets and everything, but you see the point. Building anything at the scale of the Ferrari, with purely system pieces, would be awfully heavy, would stress the suspension and all the mechanical parts. This might also explain why we didn't see yet a Creator Expert car with a suspension. These pieces could not support it and would not really fit in there anyway. Dear LEGO, what about a new smaller but stiffer suspension piece? These cars would benefit as well, just saying. Another aspect would be the cost. The Act 1 with 2,352 pieces costs 200 euros. The Ferrari with 1,677 pieces is 180 euros. A Creator Expert style car at the size of the Ferrari could easily have 3,000 or even more pieces. And that's already the territory of the pricier sets, like the 1989 Batmobile with 3,306 pieces and a 250 euro price tag. There's also one thing that might affect playability, Technic parts are designed to be held in place and you can easily build very rigid structures, which is not necessarily true for system pieces, especially if they are used for small details. So sets that are meant to be playable should probably stick to mostly Technic, with a few system details here and there, 
but there would be still room for sets with working functional Technic mechanisms inside and a truly mixed Technic and system shell for the best of both worlds. So, here's my conclusion. I think Technic sets should focus on functions, mechanics, things that are working but also playable. The 1 to 8 supercar series is a completely different category. Honestly, I wouldn't even call those Technic, but that's another story. The Creator Expert style vehicle lineup is great. I love the details and all the functionality, but they are clearly aimed for people who prefer the traditional look. Now, here are these poor guys, the 1 to 10 scale Technic cars that were not designed to be played. It really does not work without a simple hand of God steering. I would not push this line further, either make them playable again, like the rally car was, or try to explore the hybrid building way I mentioned for a much better looking, but still feature rich design. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. It does not matter if you agree with me or not, whether you prefer technique or creator expert, I would like to know what you think about the topic. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe and tap the notification bell if you don't want to miss my LEGO Technic reviews and other LEGO RC videos. See you next time. Bye bye.